Boom. Oh. Play this motherfucker. Me again. Hmm. I just have to... No. I have to go with PD. Right now. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. I like you, sure. Abe. I like Yeah, of course. You're Mr. probably going to die, aren't you? I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton! How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? 
Real fun. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most Why men. is he asking if I'm a gunslinger? Did, did they know something? I better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Howdy, Mr. Victor Vance. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. And most of them drink it all. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much. Of course, of that. Victor. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. It's down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Almost got a pail full. your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. I gotta earn our keep. Jim? Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stable? Sure. Come on, son. I just wear whatever I Ain't that grand. kind of vibe He's with. I like it. I got. I got. I just started the parents, epilogue, sir. so. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Hmm. Look at this what? horse shit. That stinks. Well, it is shit, so I would think it stinks. Gun 
gunslinging to shit show. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. I don't like the beard on John. The beard on Arthur just works. But I don't know. It doesn't fit John. this fence sure know much about fence building not really can't build a fence can't milk a cow ain't used to shoveling shits but took on a gang of robbers single-handed guess we all got our peculiarities mr. Dickens what was you doing before you came here I told you wife got cheated out of inheritance we was in a legal dispute it was a bad time that sounds awful but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Just with them legs. Now, lift up the other side. We gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Seems pretty some I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. Doing all right. Good. And that's it. Deep squat. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Nah. Boy. 
Okay. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is I Jim know. Milton. How it feels. Mr. Milton, come Angus on. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh! Oh! Shit! I'll get him. Whoa! Ow! Come on! Let's talk! Oh, stop! Damn! What am I supposed to do? Oh, no, no. Oh. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Fix the first trip. Oh, avoid being hit. Mm -hmm. All right. Throw me over here. Damn it, Abe. Abe? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Yeah, but would hey, you pa! be excited to go clean a Can doctor's office, Matt? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe, sir, you and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah. A 
That's what I thought. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Well, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much Unless. of a Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is hey, doing right Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You done? Come on. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Easy. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yeah. Yes, I do. It's a pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Is he Relax. calm? Relax. He doesn't look calm. Hey. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in foal. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Barbers were... Uh... Blacksmith would be doctors, but also like throughout history, you've always had the typical doctor. It's just like in a small village, the local blacksmith pull out stuff. In a city, that role would all could also be filled by uh, the executioner, would also kind of be a doctor, to some degree. Okay, I'll wait in the corral. You won't get much of a sweat on him in the ranch, Mr. Milton. Everything you got, come on. Red? What? Oh, yeah, I have no clue about that. Slow. Fucking course is gonna go wild and break the kid's neck. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for me to ride around here? I had a pony, 
But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Oh, no. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. I got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Here we go. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. No? A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, <coughs> too busy for social calls. Of course. Or okay, Mr. Mil what a whore! Cheating on her fucking husband. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. Oh, yeah, true. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? Mm. No. 
You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Let me tell you, I've ridden a horse twice before. You'll yank his bit out. Use your leg. There you are. Let me tell you. It's fucking Tell terrifying. Hang on such a huge animal. No Holy shit. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Yeah. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Whoa. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. 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 You get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go. You little shit. Hey. I'm winning. Yeah, right, fucker. <laughs> uh, no chance, buddy. I don't lose. Even if you're my kid. We don't do this. Come back here. You'll have to catch me. We're getting there, eh? Hang in there, girl. Your horse is a lot bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. That's a girl. Jockeys do be pretty fucking short. Wait, he took the short path? I didn't know you guys thought they meant the main path. Fuck. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat ridden, sir. On a technicality. Because I'm stupid. You. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. I don't. Shut up, hey, Torada. Keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Yep. Yeah. 
There's some, some darn tootin' gun shooting. You want to watch your mouth, boy. Bye. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, oh. listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, 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 get him. Oh, get him. I'll kick his head in, Bob. Come on, get up. Okay. You can't even stand up straight. Come on. Do you know how to even use your feet? Oh, come on, stand up. Don't you know how to stand? Oh, it looks like you don't know how to stand, my friend. That's a shame. He hit me first. Yeah. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. I still say I don't lose. I still say it, Tarada. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. So last night after I ended stream, I googled if I could play Red Dead 1 on, on, on Steam. You fucking can't. It's not on PC. I'm salty about that. You toad. Red Dead Redemption 1 is not on is not on PC. It's only on PS3, 360, and Xbone. Never got a PC port. Rockstar hates PC. Mr. Milton, I should. Mr. Geddes. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an. Incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> your wife wanted to bang me. How'd you get on? So she found out I was married. At least she respected okay, the guess. boundaries of marriage. Better? That's nice. That was, that was very sure, kind. Just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. Hmm. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. That's what I'm thinking, cause Red Dead Redemption Two. If I'm remembering correctly, what the hell was that? at least when it released, was the fastest. I don't know if End Avengers Endgame beat it. Or not. But Red Dead Two was Life the fastest. Good, Entertainment product you know to me. gross one billion dollars. Did that in like three, four days.
God, I can fucking fight. Oh, that felt good. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Let me in. It's me. I, I'm thinking Red Dead One Mr. has Daddy's to be getting a remaster or even like a full blown remake to line up better with what happens thing? in here. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Well, this is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah. I miss my guns. I had them all customized. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Coming up to Pronghorn, I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you. By being fucking a gamer. Hey, hey, 
I know you're in here. Pins shaking, shoveling, backwoods, Saka, no good, Trey. Oh, now you can fight, huh? got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss-poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first. I do be back. Real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. What was supposed to happen here? 15 headshots get 10. Oh. getting on surviving i think here i'll get you some coffee the only thing i know how to do is well you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them i was i was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. 
you act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. Hmm. Doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mind. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about the only things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. And Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short and slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. <laughs> Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Oops. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. <laughs> nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, 
Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? No. Sure. I hope so, at least. Not at fucking all. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yep. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? If we're going back, okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jeez, I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. We're gonna get ambushed or some shit? If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Be up. Stop. This is a nice fight. I I do say Tom. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Just a bit faster now. Yeah, that's what I fucking... Let's speed this up. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Pick up the pace a bit. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Getting skittish. You'll be all right. Fucking power. Huh? Yeah. What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Whoa. Whoa. That's not good. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pa, hey. those men. Are they following us? I just said, don't look around, boy. When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on. Quick, down. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. 
Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. You hyperventilating boy. What happened? No. Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! Your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Well, what was the gift? Do I get to find Mr. out? Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Hi, Sam. Thanks, Abe. <coughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. <laughs> Abigail. Darling. 
Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I'm and not doing nothing. Friends, John. I hoped you would change. They, all they provoked me. Them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. Fuck you, Abigail. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. No. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Oh, sir. We'll go over here to the... Milk cow. A few months later. But that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? Oh, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens.
Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. And I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Longer the beard grows, the he starts to really resemble Arthur a bit. Let's go to Blackwater. I do have my pistols. Yes! I got my guns! Oh my god, they have. Do I have. Okay. I gotta clean them. Holy shit. Hold on, let's check our. No, do I not have? But I have none of my loot. None of it! That is so disappointing. At least I got my guns. I have my gun. But apparently this means that I don't have my, my clothing. Desert plain. I have seen so much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel. I've been living too fast and I've been living too long. 
dusty trail and saw the vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must just go to her. Well, this is where this the uh... cruel world. Oh, what happened cruel, here? Cruel world, must I go? Corn. I saw corn. As a Midwesterner, you just cannot let corn lay down. You always got to pick up the corn. Only thing to do as a Midwesterner. Corn has to be laid. Disrespectful. This will be our first time stepping into Blackwater. on a project photography yeah i guess that then <laughs> of course wildlife that's my thing or that's what i want to be my thing if i have to take another picture of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger i will feed myself to the lions stand here huh here just there albert mason john marston pleasure I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Well, good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. <laughs> oh, good heavens. My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Drop the bag. Leave the meat, mister. Leave it! You don't want me chasing you. Cody! Heal! Do I shoot it? I want to shoot it. Coyote! Don't think about coming back! The coyote is lucky I didn't shoot it. Oh shit! This is where we uh, saved uh, Sean. I remember. This place hasn't fucking changed. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm, I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about I'm, it. Uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. Yes, I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. So wait, if I want the horse I had as Arthur, would I have to go fucking back up to Lake Isabella to get it again? Seems like a lot of work and I'm lazy. One second, Matt. How can I go loot the bodies? God damn. Man, I have to loot bodies again. Fuck. others. Go, girl. He asked for it. I asked him multiple times to stop, he didn't stop. Well, hey there. 
come take a look at this. How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hearty as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Does this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't Anyway, buying. I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Fine oh, eye, mister. All right, fucking weirdo. Good girl. Oh, this door. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. He's still fucking looking for Gaffin. After all these fucking years. Ah, no, nah, no. Nah. If you've spent this long looking for your friend Gavin, you're shit out of luck, my dude. Who's a good horse? Can you ever find Gavin? Is that a thing that you can? Can you actually ever find Gavin? Like, part of me wants to find Gavin for the fella, but I feel like he.
you, friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Hmm. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <laughs> Recover my honor a little bit after I murder a man for being a witness to one of my not crimes. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, Weekly payments. We'll be a homeowner. Fuck. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> oh, I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're a true American now, goddammit. Freedom! Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I Uncle. thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you gonna mount up? Follow me. What's going on here? West. West. Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I ain't young like you. Hold on. <laughs> Don't run off anymore, okay? So, what were you saying? West. Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see where it is, West. You know, speaking in monosyllables. 
syllables don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Means I'm stuck with you. John. The rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Did I end up skip? Did that cause me to skip the Sadie mission? No. Cool. Wait, within two. Oh. Got his Sadie Adler. Doing okay, girl. Wait, is there like ledger or some kind of thing? Sadie, we go. Good girl.
No, no. You've got to help me. Mr. Abel Stucks. Been wanting us to sign our land over. Only this time they... I escaped, but they... They have my husband. Oh. They're gonna kill him. Abel Stucks, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. I'm gonna take a long time on you. That cuss to it. The hell? <laughs> oh, you're real dumb. Stop. You're all dead. Hey, untie me, will you? Still breathing, fella? Get the damn roach off me. Fucking house that Arthur was yes. captured in. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You see my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. It's west of here. She told me to come find you. Oh. Oh, thank God. But thank you for hearing her call. Oh, it's fucking bolted. Okay, Missy. Oh, is this made out of steel now? Look at that technology. I think it was made out of wood in 1899. Can't fucking remember. You'll be okay. What was this? They finally built the house. Look at that.
the hell's your problem? You're fixing to make me mad. What's your problem? You see, Helen, Acri here at you can't oh, God. Punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing the night... Hold on, how many years has Good it... Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Huh? Uh... Ah. Oh, that was a pretty weak punch. Fine. Come on. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good Lord above. Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, give me again. Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it then. Hit me and the man for Don't worry, sir. Minor made. Oh! Really went for the swing. <laughs> Gentlemen? Yes, oh, no. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. <laughs> Whatever got into your heads? <sighs> Going on here. Side view. So that's here though. told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? God, she's so hot. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you I don't think she's in one. By Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm 
kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. <laughs> then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Driveary. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pen. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Yeah. Fucking watch it be Trelawney. Your telegram. No. Anyway, what were you talking about? Your telegram. You said you had some. Alright, that was that guy's fault walking right in front of a horse. Chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Massa. Who the fuck runs right in front of a horse? Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting a scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season. Good Lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think, when she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. Mm. His name's Nathan Kirk. 
Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Very exciting. Red card, don't mind if I do. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Open the door! Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Ow. You're a good girl now. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. He went right. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Deserve this treatment. <laughs> That's what they all say. Taylor. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did. Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Right, send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. And locate the bounty and have money in horse. <laughs> Uncle has a quest for us. Oh boy.
kind of loot in here. Any better? Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Maybe. I guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! <laughs> Kicked him in the lumbago. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit. Well, we got to go. We got to go to Saint Denis. Hey. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Howdy, Jerry. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Nah, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? I feel like we'll have a better shot. One second, guys. My parents are home, so that means now my dogs are barking. Barking in excitement. Today, sir. Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. Uh one second, make sure I'm still yeah. Oh, yeah, and drink. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Let's see. I would head along that way. Slice that your in.
Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. Surprise, <laughs> but they hate Not one of life's great mysteries. And you are a killer. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> God damn, he's built. So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Um. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. You call that a good view? And on my right, an That's not a good view. Hercules, the savage, the untamable, the yeah. unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win by death. Let's death. Keep it boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. my month but you also made some fuss mighty unhappy <laughs> so it goes here's your share partner we just made the bed i said so you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and uncle but john i haven't seen you two in years i know but right now my sense is you just need to lie low where we got a little place up past blackwater in the high country okay we're getting the band the back together i booked a steamer heading up river that's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. God, I fucking hate Uncle. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to... Live, I guess. You you know that Arthur Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have Oh, of course. I understand. It was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm 
bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Uh, well. Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Uh, I guess some folk are strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, it's been here an hour. Hey! Oh boy, down in my boss. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh, we're. You couldn't have thrown that fight. It's never just one fight. Evidently. Yeah, It's only been a few minutes and we're our keep your eye out. Santa Ni ain't short on police. Remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Uh, denying it at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, Boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> let's hope my horse teleports there. Like old 
old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. Okay, that's, that's rude. The goddamn truth. Rude. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> you good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. I'm glad we have Charles back. Wonder if we'll find Pearson. That'd be cool. Get some fine dining back. Get her down. You're strong, man. Come on. Shut up, Lumbago. Fucking come on! I am! Can't pull any harder. Put your back into it. We got it. What the fuck? <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. Uh, but if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you Just need that a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> Wait, is this my horse? It is my horse. I was like, wait a second. Ladies in town. Okay.
fuckers. Sadie. Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But... Same as most people. What is she eating? I guess. Taters? Well, funny thing about this job. Got a big pile of mashed potatoes. Opportunity. Potato? I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. Sal, now come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. God, I love Sadie Adler. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. I miss my horse. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always liked Charles. 
You send in my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want them. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Well, he's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. James Langton, the bounty hunter, got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. What bounty hunting have it's we done, John? We both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yeah. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fellow with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellow just works for him. What do you think they're heading? No. Uh, come on. Let's go follow him. Come on, lady. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Keep coming on, girl. They'll be coming through here. And what's the plan, Sadie? Talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to 
having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Okay. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Great. <laughs> All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. I see that, Sadie. Two guys, lower. Let's get going. I can't go around them. You take one of them. I'll take the other. You got low enough? You better throw a knife into me. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. Uh oh. Sorry, Sadie. I probably might be. again you little bitch
I could have done that so much smoother. Yeah. Fucking more of them? Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm Dead. the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. 
Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. You'll be okay. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. Oh, you're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, it's all right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. Hmm. Uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. Hmm. Be well. John. Who hunt? Hey. Okay, Missy. All right, what did I have to do to get gold here? I believe that we saw. <laughs> Kill all of. Yeah, fuck, fuck that achievement. That's like, hey, you gotta do all gold, all gold star. No, thank you. Never do it. Take too long. I'd have to play Red Dead Online, which is dead. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. I'm <laughs> joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are Seems you doing? Scary. Everything okay? That's what living in America's yeah, like, Matt. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at 
over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. There, but don't you worry, we're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah, I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Yeah, not much, I guess. <laughs> no, well, nor do I, but I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Both both sides have a good argument here. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. People wonder how you can handle it, living by a gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. I mind on my wife and the little ones. He's gonna die, isn't he? Chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. <laughs> what, what are you modding for, I'm watching for the, the fiance, guy. Matt? I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am Art stream? Oh. Tool maker? Now, being a proper mod. Okay. We will be the sword. And he worked metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil knows too. There's the spot, just up ahead. There's a sword and then he's true. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right then. Beat you. So, they've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happened. Seemed like a lot of work. Yeah, I saw. I saw the DM. Uh, pick that out. 
Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like. Yep, he's dead. Everyone find some cover. Skinners. Now, Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Fucking... They're down the hill! Where are they coming from? Hey, so many fucking of them. No, he's not. Alright, that's fucking shotgun time. I knew he would die. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Rest in peace, Mr. Wayne. Chewing my ear off. I knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinners? Everyone knows. <laughs> Except me. Later, John. <sighs> Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. I know you, so you get bloody too. Is he. Is it. bad? All right, let's get out of here. Oh my lord! What they do to him? Nothing nice. They skinned him. Oh, they're named Skinners. Come on, we gotta go. Shit! Those goddamn animals. 
Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Gary, can you give me a rough approximation of how much epilogue I have left? I love you. Don't you forget that. Nine hundred buck a root. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. <laughs> Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Mm. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, I well, kind of want Charles. to. Maybe Why can't we? In the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it well we worked so hard to build a little house together in the snow or the rain or the ice 
ice cold wind whenever no matter what the weather we're together More hammering. Put money down and, and bet that this hammering nails game fight is the reason why uh, this game did not win game of the year. All the fucking news journalists were like, you know what, this game was amazing. And they're like, oh, but then we had to do 10 minutes of hammering nails. You have a home. Duh. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles. As long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and... I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching, Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later. The beard on John Marston is starting to grow on me. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? The 
You're a good girl now. Hammer the nails in with 80%. There was fucking accuracy to hammering goddamn nails. Fucking game, dude. <laughs> this fucking game. Just one time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there. That I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't <laughs> like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. And I never was that fast. In the black water. This fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <laughs> This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're well, an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just mm. wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. 
nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Well, that's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. Fine by me. You, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. You coming, Uncle? No, oh, come on, Uncle. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Painted Sky. I don't think I know the place. Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobo? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them, but some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the man out. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! 
Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. That was easy. Let's get him to the sheriff. <laughs> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Curious what roads looks like. <laughs> roads don't look that much different. I thought. I thought when she said different, it would actually look different. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. We really wiped out the whole fucking town. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Up. Something's up. Yes. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Kill them. All right.
my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought That's him in. That's a mic. That mic. Now, did Mike, Mike he I had here, here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Deal. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. You said roads? Yeah. This guy? No one's here. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stolen. Come on, bug you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> he got Both of us. So one must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hang in there, girl. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Okay. There. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa! Come on! They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. 
do as you're goddamn told. Yes, mate. And shoot well. Uh, yeah, if they're like close to someone though, they'll catch fire. A lot of them. Oh, Sadie, I'm sorry. All right, we'll go that way this time. We have a different gun this time. No, we don't. You gave up easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Oh, <laughs> Just me. Son of a bitch. Now, I'm looting this bitch. What you got? Oh, yeah. Well, that's that then. 
Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Uh -huh. Adler. Yeah. Yeah, it's me again. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. But the Lobos will not forgive this. When he was offering money. Oh, you want money? <laughs> hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. God, I love you, Sadie Adler. How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Okay, girl, stay here. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. 
Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. Young miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Boys night, drinking time. We'll out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. Did he just throw a tomahawk? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors lives. Man, with a beard, John really looks like <laughs> Arthur. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. <laughs> Yeehaw! John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> Touched uh, Unc. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? My guess is they went that way, but my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. But there's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Whoa. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Cheers. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad. This might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, do you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. That sounds like Uncle. Something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. the trees. Come on. Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Look out? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on.
They're gonna make Uncle's lumbago get worse. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. Easy. Easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. Keep on him. God, that's gotta fucking hurt. There's no way that man ain't dead already. Oh, sounds like he's dead now. He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay, let's go. Almost fucked that one up. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Uh, hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 uh. Behind you! Okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. Oh, the Maybe back. Those bastards. We got it. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. Him. 
Jesus, here come the rest of them. Quick, there's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gate. than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Ah, I can't, I can't hit my back. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I don't feel good. Hmm. That's gotta hurt so fucking much. I'm feeling real weird. Of course, taking a dookie. Uncle Billy, hey. I'm here. Alright. Get you down. Nice I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out. Oh, thank you, boys. Don't mention it. That's all. I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. It'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. Just like we used to be, huh? We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back.
I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Hmm. Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Two more fucking missions. I'm... So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We I'm sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about you, darling. All armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if... John wanted to earn some money? My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. We took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her? Pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. <laughs> it's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought he wanted to earn some money. How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. <laughs> it's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is Let's one fucking thing. going murdering this bitch. Micah? I heard he was up country for some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Let's give you another go. You want to work? Girl. Let's get, get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back. 
With the boy? You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Easy. Good girl. We're cutting off the main track up here. By Manzanita Post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Blair. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> the fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. He keeps going through here. Yeah, this way. There's a cabin up here. And a dead body. See if it's him. Crap. Ugh, well, that ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. Huh? But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Two shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh, it is a bear. Up. 
Oh, fucker didn't die. I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there, I'll kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Sir Will, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by. At least. You all right, Jones? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spent... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you saying... The Adler man? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thurl there... Uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We were thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to take all of it. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Nice and easy. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? 
No. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Can't be too many fucking quests left finishing this game. Right? Is this one? Oh, it's Jack. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. <laughs> I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? We gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I, I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? Yeah. <laughs> at talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun. I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I mean, yes, I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get out here. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. Hmm. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. 
I got a bike. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Mike is gonna show up here, ain't he? Where's Rufus? I don't know. Oh, sort of Relax. fuck. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. That dog is hurt. I'm setting things on fire. People are dying. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Rufus! 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 Him, pa? Can you go search the other side of the track? You boys seen Rufus? You boys have seen a dog. Now tell me, I could kill you. Dad! Please come here! No. I see. He bit him. Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Get the poison out. Spit it out. What do you think I'm doing, boy? Don't swallow it. Doggo got bit by snake. I'm gonna go kill that snake. Keep He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Rufus is gonna be okay. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. I have a feeling the dog dies in Red Dead 1. If it don't die in Red Dead 2, it died, it, it, it did in Red Dead 1. I'm sorry, Dory. <laughs> I've never played Red Dead 1, so of course I cannot say who lives and dies. Well. He's, he, 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 ah! I was admiring my beard, you shit. Knocked off my hat. I'm assuming probably for other reasons. But of course, maybe not. Because I know Abigail and Jack live. John. John, he dies in a blaze of glory. Be quiet. No, you be quiet. Well, I'm having a moment of repose. Well, you 
it should be working. Oh, I, I've done my work. No, I heard it. I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful around here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You have He's got lumbago. John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. <laughs> that was a good impression, Uncle. Why do you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. That's right, here you go. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Ma thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. He's funny, Tell your mom and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Aw, oh, Mr. Geddes. What a nice guy. Well, that's about everything. Send your Pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we get some show for it. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. I am finishing this fucking game tonight. This better be the last mission. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry. <laughs> and now it's last water. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and... You had a drink with the boys no, I mean, a few weeks ago. Good. Some fun. Like, uh, decent folk had a drink with Charles and we Uncle. Now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fine. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. Rude. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. They'll starve. And that may be good for him too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Whoa. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm going to head to the Drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right. Let's get that picture taken. If it means that much to you. It does. Today it does. 
He's gonna You're propose. Kind of funny. He's gonna propose, guys. Kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Enlargement. Am I annoying you? The best no. first mine. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, so you could. changed. He I complains about me being me, and now she's complaining to me about me not being me. Which is it, Abigail Roberts or Abigail Marston? Oh, hello, madam, sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're. We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Our, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, it's <laughs> wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Ooh. Paris by night. Ooh. We have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have Ooh. the open prairie. Ooh. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Like... Let's see the others. Oh, that is so slow moving. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. It's like out of Lord of the Rings. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? Ah. This one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose. Oh, this is the early this is the early 1900s. The Congo isn't a place I'd want to be at this point in time for um Try to enjoy. King Leopold reasons. I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. No, I'm a poser. Oh, I learned from the best. How's this? Bravo. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Five dollars for one oh, photo. Yes. He'll Fuck probably that. come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. No, I don't want to watch another never? fucking movie. No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. No, I don't want this to. It's marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's, it's real If I can skip this, I'm fucking thing. skipping this. I don't give a fuck. I, it's so boring. It is so boring. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even pay the man. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Oh, it's a... Oh, I can't skip. No, let me skip, please.
will be the fellowship of the ring. Leo, thank you for the follow. She's incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. Johnny Marston. Well, we've seen it. No, you don't. Oh, you brought me here for staying till the end. Damn it. Oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. The farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking... Get it? Because John am. couldn't swim in the <laughs> first game, so. so he still can't swim here. You're acting real strange. No, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. The man who can't swim is going in a boat. <laughs> like I said. I can swim, but I still want to fucking get in a boat. <laughs> I like to row. Fuck the water. Since when? You can hardly swim. That's what I'm saying. I'm on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope we don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? You're asking something, just ask it. Okay. Will you? He got down on one knee. Huh. So romantic. Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. Who's that? You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. <laughs> Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. He still got the moves. I don't think John ever really had the moves. I don't really know how he and Abigail got together. I think they ended up just having Jack. They ended up having a kid and they just stuck together. I think it's how. That's as much as I think I know. God, these old timey PJs are fucking disgusting. Dory? One onesies like that? What the fuck? No, those are those are disgusting. They look stupid. This is where I will disagree with you vehemently, Dory. Come on. Come on. This, this has to be the last mission, right? It has to be. 
It has to be. The music playing has given me ending vibes. Knock, knock. So, uh, is the red dragon dead? Well, I don't think we've seen women with the same PJs. We've only seen the men walking about in the in those kind of onesie PJs. The women have just been wearing um like white, the very basic like white gowns. And Princess Brea rescued Sir Galsworthy. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear. What's for dinner? <laughs> What's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Fucking fine, like, please be the last man. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. Yes. I found Micah. Murdering no. the bastard. I got a lead. One of his boys. Wanted for murdering the woman. Been seen drinking in Strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! <laughs> you risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? Well, this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, right. and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real. You can have that opinion, Dory. I just dragons. vehemently disagree. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is. Ones is such a hassle to get in and out of. Please try to. <laughs> I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please. <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. We'll fucking ride faster, fellers. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life. Well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, hey, John, you've given him the best family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Mm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. Down South America, maybe. It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine or take up with a handsome revolutionary. Yeah. I don't know. Something. See something else at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. There. Cleet! Hey, Cleet! 
Yo, fuck yeah, I am. Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? Where is he? Hey, 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 hey! Wait, 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 wait! Anything short of killing will do. Where is he? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. Uh, you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Yes, no. ma'am. No. Come on. Let's go. Get him over here. I'm trying. To kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Shut up, man. We, 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 we. He, he's up in the mountain. I think he, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad men doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him. Murder that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please. I'm, I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Hang him. No. No. I, I told you. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. Oh, that felt good. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Eating some beans while we're hunting a feller. As you do. We all ready? This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. I guess I lose to him. I'm not supposed to be able to bleed him. I get shot down. I got the high ground up here. Box of bullets. Shit. That's... 
stupid. And now I'm close enough, I guess. I swear, Charles better not be dead. Hey, we're okay. You're okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. Or they'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... <coughs> Come on fast. Okay. Oh, I'm down. Shit. Why are we moving so slow? Come on. I'm using the wrong one. I'm trying to go fast, but the game don't let me. Not Dutch. She's fine. You don't look too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Hey, nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to. I thought it was Dutch. The, the mustache kind of looked Charles. Off. Stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of. Don't move too much. Noise me.
fuck is Micah? Shut up, Taylor. Absolutely nothing in the chest. All right, fuck you, Micah. Oh, I looted this 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 little tower back in the day before Arthur was dead. me not much been a few years <laughs> how's that uh mm, whore of yours she's good <laughs> didn't reckon i should waste my time killing you <sighs> but i felt different so it seems well maybe after all this is over i'll go pay her a call Hmm. And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John. You oh. should run away. I look forward to meeting them. What do you mean? Oh, one. Uh, <laughs> social calls. 
Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Jesse. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. <laughs> you betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. Thank you. I, I, you okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Black water. I'll go see. Hurry up! I got a wedding I want to go to. <laughs> Jack, Uncle, come out here. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> okay, but Sadie, though, I think Sadie, I think, I think Sadie would have been dead by now if she hadn't been stabilized. Well. 
Yeah, you know, I think, I think she was fatal. I think she's been dead by now. Right, we're skipping. Yeah, I want. I want the wedding. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I guess they're just married. With that money, I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Maybe. <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway. I guess I maybe wasn't like supposed to skip that credits. Yeah, I thought it was just the credits. Didn't think I would skip the whole cutscene. It. It's home. Well, I guess that's Red Dead too. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, all the story missions, so. I'm not doing that. No, I'm done. I'm done. I don't care. It's a, it. I don't, I, I'm done. I have put so many fucking hours. I want to play something else. That was a, uh, it's, it's signed AL. So that is... I don't know who that would be. It ain't Sadie. No, I'm done. It would... I don't care if you riot. In a main story mission, I finished the story of Red Dead 2. Um. Okay. Final thoughts on Red Dead 2. I think overall I gotta give it a 7 or 8 out of 10 for me. The story just dragged in so many places. And so so many places felt like they lasted too long. Um, now the world design and graphics, 10 out of 10. Uh, the uh, open world, 10 out of 10. The story. Eh, it's okay. It's a very predictable story. Nothing too special really about it, honestly. Um the The characters are very well voice acted. I think the for performances definitely make up for I mean, it's a very kind of run of the mill kind of prequel story that you kind of expect who have come before you know red dead one i don't i don't i think it's definitely an overhyped game it's an overhyped game i'm sorry like i can understand why people love it and why people really enjoy it but i think it's overhyped i don't think it's the greatest story game i think I don't really think any game has really coveted the greatest story game yet. I don't think there really has been a definitive game that has just stood apart from all the others. Like, I love God of War. But God of War 20, it ain't... Well, for me, it's a 10 out of 10 game. I don't... I still wouldn't say it is the greatest story of all time. I fucking love the game. It is probably current one of my favorite. Actually, Witcher Three: Wild Hunt I would probably say has the greatest story because I'm partial. I'm 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 very biased in that. However, Witcher Three also dra has a lot of moments where it drags. Like when you're in Velen, it drags quite a bit. Velen Velen for me always felt very slow. Um. It just didn't feel like it was doing anything new. Uh, like, it was using pretty much GTA 5 combat. But Western, 
so the combat is much slower if that makes sense i mean i, I of course if i if i knew what red dead one was like i'd be able to probably speak more on this on the combat but like that's my biggest complaint with rockstar games is i don't like their gameplay so that all like you know the two biggest important the most the two most important things in a video game gameplay and the story so things eventually like they're 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 and when i say it dragged in places i mean also there also felt like moments where there needed to be more um now of course you know that's gonna happen like probably any game it'll probably happen in most games i don't think there's really any game that doesn't have that flaw where there are moments where it drags in one spot and then should have more stuff in the other um but like a seven like when i my rating system is like five out of ten is an average game it's like you're selling me this game for this amount of... I don't even really factor in money. You're selling me this game on these promises. Um, you're selling me... You're, you're, you are you have certain expectations if, say, your game's an action RPG or your game's a just basic RPG or real-time strategy or turn-based strategy. You know, different games have different expectations to them. So it's definitely above average. You know, it's hitting 7 or 8 out of 10. However, it's not a, for, for a game to get the 9 or 10 out of 10 ratings for my scores is they have to be replayable for me. This game, like I'll maybe play it to do hunting and stuff, but to go through that, for me, it took me 62 and a half, 62 and a half hours. No, no, not for me. Um, what else? Um, I think very immersive. I think I have to do. I think I think giving it a seven is lowballing. Eight out of ten feels just right for me. Red Dead Online is dead. From everything I've seen online, uh, Rockstar has a bullshit uh, economic system in place. Uh, the economy there is fucked. There's hackers all over the place. So, not for me. Uh, I mean, will will I play uh, Red Dead Three? Probably, probably would. Four sticks out of of dynamite out of five and seven cans of beans out of eight and. A what if private lobbies with hobies? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't play much multiplayer. Like the only thing I do that's multiplayer, multiplayer is, I have fri D and D every Friday. I I don't play much multiplayer anymore. I always like, oh, I get bored. <laughs> I get, I get bored so easily nowadays. Uh, I've become a boomer. <laughs> oh. Honestly, the, for me though, a perfect story game probably would come out of a game like like out of a universe like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. I think that's kind of where I would see a perfect story. Um, honestly, Jedi Fallen Order really had a perfect kind of story, like. I'm thinking I'm trying I'm thinking of a bunch of games that like on their pacing and stuff. Did I fall in order? I thought like had really good pacing. Really fucking good. Some of the best, if not the best of the last few years. Um Yeah, I mean I don't like Another thing that kind of bothered me is I lost all my money when we transitioned to Arthur. So it's like all my money's gone and all my clothes that I spent 
like thousands of dollars on. I don't think I spent thousands. I think I spent a, maybe a close to a thousand on the clothes. Yeah, I don't, I don't like having things taken away from me in my games. Or if you're gonna take them away from me, keep it temporary, very temporary. Now, of course, I pro, I may have had access to all the clothes still, and I just didn't go and see it. But yeah, my friend Stuff told me that there was, she said that there was a way that you could save Arthur's money. What's the way? Is it like buying a bunch of jewelry? Is that the way? I can't I can't think of any other way you would do it. Because it looked like we kept jewelry in our satchel, at least. But I'm not sure if that was that jewelry I looted. I'm curious. Tell me tell me the the way. I'm gonna see if there's anyone streaming. You know. God, I don't I I Ooh, we got a com cob knob. Did I hydrate though? <sighs> I hydrated then. Um, ugh. I am not playing a game that is over twenty hours long for months. We just t played two games back to back that took over sixty hours each. I am exhausted. When oh, there's the weird couple who want to eat, oh, and I guess you never go and you don't go to get the money. It'll okay. I never ran into that side thing. Like that, I will give the game appreciation there. There is a bunch of open world stuff that, you know, people are still discovering new things to this day after over three years of release. That's impre that is a cool thing. That like skyrocket, that's like stuff with like Witcher 3, you know, you have moments like that. Skyrim, you have moments like that. So it's in that legendary ballpark. But for me, the story doesn't land. Did you ever do the mission with the Night Folk? There are so many missions, Jerry. I'm gonna be honest. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, dude. I really don't. In the swamp with the guy whose shack has been... We freed one dude's shack. That's all I got for you, man. I don't remember. Um, I will probably be live tomorrow night. Um... Uh, it'll be a, like, three-hour stream. Um, you see, I never saw the Swamp Ghost. I'm, we've been playing Red Dead. Uh, I'm, I remember hearing that. I don't remember. I'm a boomer now, Jerry. I, 62 hours. I don't remember shit. <laughs> I don't remember things. I'm forgetful. I yeah. God no. I enjoyed Death Stranding, but it's like that. It's for me, Death Stranding was one of those games like you experience and then never touch again. Um. I like. I enjoyed it. I think Death Stranding was like a seven or six out of ten. Like. The story for Death Stranding fucking weird, and I didn't understand anything. But like the gameplay, it was relaxing. Like I think Death Stranding had some of the most. I don't know. I was just at peace in Death Stranding because there really wasn't combat. It was like avoiding stuff. But like at a certain point, once you got like the like a proper truck or like the armored truck or whatever that you could store a bunch of goods in, you could. It was just so peaceful. It was so peaceful. It was it was so fucking relaxing. Um But yeah, that was Red Dead Redemption 2. Um yeah, eight out of ten game. Um I enjoyed it. Uh 
But like, I don't know. I still feel like Arthur should have been the one to kill Micah. Because he was the one to figure out that he was the one to uncover the information that, you know, Micah was actually doing things to fuck over the camp. And then like, it's left pretty ambiguous as to whether or not Dutch truly understands that Micah betrayed them or not. Like, we never got verbal or really even visual confirmation that Dutch really got that. That Micah was the one that betrayed them. Yeah, like, I do think they did some good... I think they did a good job at misdirection and uh, laying the seeds of Micah's betrayal. Um throughout the game i do think that, and then when they said molly did it i believed in that but did molly o'shea ever really say that she did it okay so she did act the, straight up admit that she betrayed See, that's one thing that actually i didn't like is that she straight up admitted to betraying the gang which, and then it's just like, you have to kind of infer from that that she was actually just wanting attention. Which is kind of a miss for me. I would have preferred it if maybe what she was saying was more ambiguous. And like, oh, I wish I betrayed you or fucking some shit like that. Or she doesn't really actively say she's betrayed them, but like, the evidence that the gang has at that moment is that she has betrayed them. Then I could buy it. But uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of things. I mean, of course, it, there's so much story that it's kind of probably a bit unfair to get so nitpicky on it. But uh, we're going to throw this raid over to Combat 789, part of Climax Gaming. If they ever revive climate. Um, he's playing Rust. Raid message. I. Yeah, it, it felt very. A lot of things, honestly, in the final chapter, in chapter six, felt a bit. Just not special. And a lot of the deaths, like the deaths of Hosea, Lenny, Sean. Uh, and Kieran, they all felt very unimportant. The most important of that death being Hosea, because obviously you can point to Hosea's death as being the catalyst for Dutch's complete descent into craziness. However, it still felt a bit weak. In, in their, their deaths all felt like a bit weak, that we didn't get to linger with the realization that they were dead. Like, it didn't get to settle. They were just gone, and then the story moved on. Which, for me, I don't like that. Even though, technically, that is that is probably more realistic, I still preferred. Did you catch the serial kill? No. I only found two notes. But I'm done with Red Dead 2. We're moving on to a new game. I want a short game. But go ahead and enjoy the a quick stream from Combat, guys. Peace.